Sigma INFJs are the least common personality types, so maybe you've already encountered one, yet were unaware that they were an INFJ. When someone has a natural ability to attract people's attention, you can tell they are an INFJ. Here are a few characteristics of an INFJ that make them unique. Number 10, Sigma INFJs are mysterious and full of mystique. People are not used to the actions and thoughts of an INFJ since they are uncommon. Similar to how you find something fresh you learned in school fascinating. The INFJ is also intriguing and enigmatic. This extraordinary individual stands apart from the general populace since they possess particular qualities that are hard for most people to understand. Without speaking, you might see an INFJ in the room's corner, and it will be difficult for you to comprehend what is wrong with them or what they are thinking. This mysterious quality of Sigma INFJs has two opposing sides. They gain from this because they exude a dark, gloomy aura that some people find appealing. However, because of this, they can also be mistaken for snobs. Do you possess the same sense of mystery as an INFJ? Number 9. Sigma INFJs are excellent listeners and counselors. In addition to being exceptionally compassionate and kind, Sigma INFJs are also very sensitive and insightful. An individual who exhibits all of these characteristics is a great fit for a counseling position. They will be outstanding psychologists or mental health professionals. They make great psychologists or guidance counselors. They can maintain objectivity and impartiality due to their intelligence without sacrificing empathy and compassion. As a buddy, Sigma INFJs can offer wise counsel. They will be able to relate to what their friend or relative is experiencing, and they will offer thorough information. The drawback is that because they are so sensitive and easily become emotionally worn out, Sigma INFJs will also require some alone time. Do you think you have good listening skills? Number 8. Sigma INFJs are extremely creative. First, Sigma INFJs are indeed talented in the arts, which is the first of two explanations for this. They excel at both traditional and abstract art. They frequently show a strong interest in a variety of arts, including literature, poetry, paintings, sketches, and many more. They enjoy reading about and reflecting on deep philosophical concepts that challenge their thinking. The need for art as a means of expressing their intense and weighty feelings is the second justification for this. They don't just let everybody in. In order to feel like they can totally and honestly express themselves, art is the companion they need, without bias and with complete sincerity. Number 7. INFJs of the Sigma type have a deep sense of spirituality. Spirituality is another method for an INFJ to feel heard and understood, thus it is vital to them. They enjoy having faith in a superior being such as a deity or god to whom they can worship, speak, and express their most intense emotions and concerns. Because they don't typically talk to others, Sigma INFJs are frequently lonely. This distinguishes them from the competition. While the majority of people have close friends or best friends to whom they may confide nearly all of their life's events, seldom do Sigma INFJs possess that, if they even have any. This is due to the fact that they are extremely sensitive, which leaves them open to harm. To keep themselves safe, they must erect barriers. Do you feel secure in spirituality and religion as an INFJ? Number 6. Sigma INFJs have a strong commitment to justice and basic human rights. Since INFJ has a profound comprehension of everything, they also cherish philosophy and the arts. Sigma INFJs are also very passionate about basic justice and human rights. They are concerned with the plight of the hungry, the victims of injustice, and the neglected children. They are concerned about humanity as a whole, and they are effective defenders of the environment. For world peace and against global warming, 
Despite their enigmatic demeanor, they can also be extremely passionate. A majority of people take care of their families and selves. Sigma INFJs have a propensity for taking a broad view and caring about the overall populace. Sigma INFJs will flourish in careers as environmentalists or in politics. They'll be enthusiastic about their work, and they'll devote them completely to those fields of work. Number five, introspection and self-reflection come naturally to Sigma INFJs. Another characteristic that sets Sigma INFJs apart from the general population is their keen capacity for introspection and self-reflection. Because there is a lot of information and feeling available, they pick up things from other people. They frequently misunderstand their feelings and thoughts. This indicates that self-reflection or introspection is crucial for Sigma INFJs. They must be able to discern between their own feelings and thoughts and those of others. To be confident in their identity and to avoid losing oneself, people require self-reflection and meditation. The majority of Sigma INFJs, if not all of them, begin engaging in self-analysis and introspection very early in life. When they grow up, they are already experts in the field. Do you also practice meditation and introspection? Number four, Sigma INFJs have excellent intuition. One of the most intuitive persons on the earth are Sigma INFJs, and they raise the bar on this considerably. They benefit from their intuition in many areas of their lives. When someone is not being genuine with them, they can tell. Additionally, they are always able to detect negative intentions. Their intuition serves them well, but it sometimes causes them harm. It is advantageous since it enables individuals to defend themselves against harm and abuse from others. They are able to detect lies from their friends as well as attempts to take advantage of them by their friends' families and other close pals, which can be a curse. Number three, Sigma INFJs have a certain style of relating to others. Infrequently do Sigma INFJs have close friends. They hardly ever have a confidante to whom they may vent. Sigma INFJs occasionally, but infrequently, sincerely connect with a person or a group of people. Because Sigma INFJs are extremely picky and usually never choose to become too close to other people, this is quite uncommon and unusual. A close friend of an INFJ will be a one-of-a-kind friend to that person. They are able to quickly comprehend what their close friend is experiencing or thinking. They know how to help their friend and will do it in a way that no one else can. Their devotion is amazing. To have an INFJ pal would be a blessing. Search among your pals. Do you believe one of them is an INFJ? Number two, individualism is another trait of Sigma INFJs. At the same time, two things can be true. Sigma INFJs have a tendency to care deeply about people and the environment. They are also excellent at seeing inside themselves. They are aware of their whereabouts right now. They are aware of their potential and the actions that must be taken in order to realize it. When and if necessary, Sigma INFJs will prioritize themselves without hesitation. They are aware of their limitations and their bounds. They are able to spot abusive and deceptive behavior in others. And they are aware of when it's appropriate to put others out of their sight and take a break. Sigma INFJs are able to control their emotions and carry their daily tasks effectively as a result. Number one, Sigma INFJs excel in finding solutions to issues and solving problems. It's a natural characteristic of Sigma INFJs to think deeply and analyze situations. As a result, Sigma INFJs excel as leaders and detectives. They can and will do their hardest to solve a problem more quickly than most individuals do. And they are quite effective at developing solutions and preventive actions for the problems. They tend to overthink, which helps them avoid risky circumstances and issues. They excel at assessing situations and identifying key components. 
generating possibilities and analyzing the benefits and drawbacks of each option. Do you think you're good at solving problems? Or would you like to be an effective follower rather than a good leader? The factors mentioned above are only a few of the ways a Sigma INFJ can stand out in a crowd. You can always identify what other characteristics an INFJ has that set them apart from other people if you know them well. Do you agree that Sigma INFJs are fascinating and unpredictable? Do some of these arguments strike a chord with you?